hello friends it's Dion with the blushing mint welcome to another episode of Christmas in July I am just I'm having fun with some of the projects that I'm gonna be putting together for this series and this little one is just awesome um, I have a bunch of six by six paper pads um, guys I I seem to gravitate to these. You can get them relatively inexpensive. Six by six paper pads are under 10 bucks pretty much absolutely everywhere. Um, they come in so many different styles. You can pick them up on places like Timu, Amazon, um, Wish, all, all of the discount places and whatnot. Um, and so this is just a great way to use up some of these paper pads. So that's one of the things that I'm working on in this Christmas in July series is using up six by six paper pads that I have, um, creating just simple, simple, easy mass make projects. Um, so if you are a craft, um, if you are a crafter who does like vendor events and things like that, some ideas that are that would be great sellers that are good, easy mass makes. So those are some of the things that I'm really focusing on for our Christmas and July projects. And this is another one of those. Um, this one is just, this is so cute. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm going to deconstruct it and then we're going to build it together. And I think I am going to do blues for the one that I am going to cre to create with you guys today. Um, I used very um, traditional Christmas colors in the prototype, um, but I think I'm going to do the blues just as something different. So this is all done with six by six paper pads, and I believe I used a total of eight complete sheets in this project by the time I was all said and done. I know you're going to be like, where did you put eight sheets of paper in here? There is a lot going on in this little package. So this package is three by six. And um, I just, in order, like if you're giving this as a gift or you're doing this at a vendor event, I just wrapped it around some um, fun little ribbon. And then I created two little tags. Um, that I threaded our ribbon through here. If I could get my fingernails to cooperate, I apologize. Um, so I just threaded those tags right through the string. And I did a little stamp on one that says Happy Holidays from the North Pole. And I just put those together like that. Just wrapped our little string around here so it creates a fun little closure. And then... Um, what we have is we have basically, it's kind of like a mini wallet. Oh my gosh, I can see the use of this in everyday life in so many different ways. So um, I, you can continue to decorate and elaborate on the way that you, um, that you design and decorate these. But I just, I like the simplicity of what I have done with this. And I think this is as far as I would probably take it as far as gift giving or doing a mass make of them. So um, you have your front cover. And then on your front cover, you also have a journaling card or a photo mat um, there. And then you open it up and you have another journal card or photo mat in that pocket. Another pocket with just a cute tag for journaling and some trims. You open it again and you have another journal card in a belly band. Then you have a tag here and then this is the center. So you have another journal card mat here. Then you open it again to another tag. I mean, you could add multiple tags. There's so many things. These are perfect to put a gift card in. Um, then you have another journal mat inside another belly band. The flip with another tag. Inside the next pocket is another journal card. 
And then you have your back pocket where you have the next journal card or photo mat. Um, this is this is precious. I absolutely, I literally, I love this. I can see so many ways that we're going to use this, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use it at some point when I'm doing the December daily later in the month when I'm putting things together. Um, you're gonna you're gonna actually see one of these come into play because I think I have an idea. I'm hoping it will turn out, but I need to play a little bit before I um, possibly embarrass myself on camera. So. Anywho, this, friends, is what we are going to create today. And in order to do that, all we need is we need a bone folder. I remembered the name of it today. We need some glue. We need our cutting, our um, cutter. And you could use a scoreboard. I think for this, I'm just going to go ahead and use my cover in the interest of saving some space on my desk. And then you need eight sheets of six by six paper and so that that is your supply list for this project I'm gonna set my little strings and such aside over here because I don't need those right now and we are gonna get to it I'm gonna choose my papers first because I have not done that yet so let's see this is a winter story and this is a refined company paper pack. And I believe, guys, I got this on Wish. I have to believe this was a Wish paper pad. These are single-sided, and it is perfect. This is a perfect project for your single-sided papers. Um, I happen to have two packs of this same one. Um, go figure. So let's see. Okay. Ooh, the ice skates on the front would be cute, cute, cute. Kind of like that. So we need to look through our papers here and see what we have for designs. Here, the deer is cute, but I'm not sure where that would play out. Um... Liking that. The beauty of, of using paper pads is everything coordinates. So when you're making a project like this and you want your things to coordinate, that's the beauty of using um, a, a paper pad because you know everything is going to coordinate. It's just awesome. Okay, so if I do the skates as my front, well, I need eight sheets. So... And then I liked this and these and oh, I want the stripe for sure. Um, the snowman will be fun. And just in case, let's go with the treats. Okay. So I'm going to put these other, oh, so, but this is, hold on, sorry guys, sometimes I just like to think harder than I should. Oh, but then I have this. Um, yes, okay. Okay, that's what I'm going to use. So I have... And I pulled both sheets of the eights that I'm using just so that I don't have to get back in my paper pad. So, but we only need eight sheets of paper for this. So I'm going to put the rest of these back in my bag and get those off the desk. So these are easy reachable. All right. So this is a matter of scoring and folding, scoring and folding. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build our, our cover. And I'm going to use, I want the, the skate to be in the front. So um, I'm just folding this at the three inch mark. So I'm just scoring this here. And it should hopefully fold in half. And... There is our cover. Now then, we need 
another one to form our center pocket. So we're going to take a second sheet. And what do I want that second sheet to look like? Maybe I'm going to do the snowflake and again, score it and fold it in half. That is what we do. This is, this is a tough project, friends. It's just a bunch of scoring, folding, and then some gluing. So then this gets folded the opposite direction, okay? And then it creates what's going to be our center here. Now, the first thing I need to do, because we are going to glue as we go. Um, so my glue here hopefully is ready and going to cooperate. I need to put the notch in here for our thumb hole. So same way I do with pretty much all of them. I kind of just do a quick little crease right where that center is. And you don't, because these are not a big pocket, you don't need to make a big a big dimple. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be big. I forgot. We need our ink. If you're going to ink, you need to have your ink pad. So that's another little supply we need to have. And all I'm doing is just the pocket, the little top edge here. Actually, no, I lied. I'm going to ink, I'm going to ink the whole, all of it here. Sorry. I made this a couple days ago and I just finished decorating it today to do this video. So um, I forgot kind of already what I was doing. Sorry. Okay. So make sure our skate is at the, going the right direction now. We're going to just glue our edges. Here are sides. And I'm still going to glue the bottom. It's not like it's a necessity, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Then set this down. Line it up, and with this, the most important thing is that you line up the top of your book, the top of your pages, so that everything is nice and straight across. Um, if you have any issues when you fold or whatever, we can always trim off. Like, clearly, I've got an issue already, so I'll just trim. It's okay. As long as all your edges and stuff line up, get a nice crease and seal everywhere. All right. So first thing I got to do is I got to do a quick trim. Okay. And so there is, there's our first pocket. Okay, now we're going to do our back pocket. So then I need a page for in the back. So that is this page. So let's do a, let's do this one. Okay. And you don't have to, you don't have to use your scoreboard for this. Um, you can just fold your pages in half. I don't know why I was thinking I needed to be precise with my scoreboard. And then now this one, we're going to score, or we're going to crease to make our pocket, but it needs to be our right-hand pocket, our right-hand side versus our left-hand side. Okay. Ink, ink, 
ink, ink. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that I know this is July, so you guys are coming up on um, 4th of July. So today should be the 3rd of July. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and a great holiday. Um, great holiday time. Fun with family and friends. Lots of high school reunions, all that kind of stuff. Family reunions that go on during this time of year. So I hope everybody's doing fun, doing good and having fun and visiting with friends and family. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Okay, so again, I'm just gluing the sides and the bottom here. And we're going to put this in place. Um, here. I just had a moment of panic. I looked over and my computer was black and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this and I'm not on camera. I turned my camera off accidentally. Had a moment of panic there. Whew, sorry. Scared myself, friends. I scared myself. All right. Can you see it coming together? Can you see it? Ah, so much fun. Okay, so now we need to put our um, holes here for our center pocket. I just did a quick mark there. And then I'm going to ink these up. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so now all I need to do, my glue is, it's hot. It's really warm today. My glue is having a moment. So all we do is we just glue these together. Make sure your sides and everything are held well. All right. Do you see it coming together? So there we go. There is the base of our, of our piece. All right. So now. So that's the three. Now we're going to form the two flips. So these are pockets. These are flips. So now we're going to form our flips. So we need two additional pieces of paper. And so of the papers that I've chosen, and did I do my flip? Nope, I did two different pages. So I could do a blue here. Or I could do, oh, I like the blue there. And I think I'll do the snowflake, the tan snowflake. Yes, love, 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 love. Okay, so now... Basically, I believe I got to get my ruler and I cut two inches off of each one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cut two inches off of this. And since I'm doing it, I'm just going to go ahead and cut two inches off of here as well. Okay. And then I scored that at, I believe, an 
inch and a half. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to score it at an inch and a half. And I'm going to do my blue one the same way at an inch and a half. Okay. And then we fold these at the score line. And on our short side, we need to go ahead and we need to create that um, little divot for our pocket again. And we're going to ink. Okay, we're doing this in real time, friends. I'm, I'm hoping it's not forever and ever. Okay. And I hope you're following along. I hope I'm not confusing you, basically. Not that you're following along like watching. I hope that I'm not confusing you. That's really what I meant. Okay, so now all we do here, because we want this to be free-floating, okay? So all we are doing here is we are doing the sides here of our pocket And make sure, fold over, give yourself a good thing, and do not go over the line because we don't, we want this to freely move on the other side. So you want to be, you don't want to go over the edge of your, with your glue. And then you just set that in there. Perfect. Glue your corners, flatten it out, and there you've got your flip. Now we need to do our next flip. And here's our paper. Fold it at the score line. Put our little divot in here. I don't know really what the right word is. It's thumb notch. I think that's actually the correct word or that's what people call it. I don't know. It's a divot. It's a divot to me. I was talking about golf at lunch. All of a sudden I'm thinking in divots. I don't know. I, I made a lot of divots when I golfed. Okay. I love the look of this paper and... Um, with this vintage photo distressing on it, it is beautiful. I am going to love this. I might be doing more with blues. I hope I have more blue papers in my stashes. Okay, so this one, now we want this one, this extra pocket to go to the, to the right-hand side. And again, we're just, sorry, my glue is just having a moment. Sides here and just inside that line on the bottom there. Okay. All right, so now you see what we got going on here. All right, so that is, this is the foundation. From here, the sky is literally the limit. So what I have done, and so looking at the one that I have done here, so the first thing I did is I came through and I used um, the off cuts from the papers that we created with first. I turned them over and I used them as a belly band. I thought this was a little too wide still, so I cut it off another half inch. So cut a 
So if this is 2, I need to cut it at 1 and a half. So cut a half inch off of those offcuts. Okay. Ink it up. All right, and this is the belly band on this side. So again, with a belly band, you just glue the top and the bottom. No need for notches, no need for anything else there. Okay, so here's the belly band here. Okay, do the same thing in the back here. Cut a half of an inch off of, and please, okay, I want you guys to save, save your scraps. So anything that is like a, a half inch or so, save it. We're going to create collage at some point in this series. So save, save your inch and, or your half inch or larger scraps, okay? Just get a Ziploc bag and have it on your craft table and put all of your Christmas and July scraps in it and we'll do something with those down the road. Okay, so we cut that half inch off. We're going to ink this up. Okay, and top and bottom glue. And there is our second belly band. Okay, now, so that's the belly band there, that's the belly band there. Now we need to do um, our three journal cards for our center pockets. And that is another piece of paper, and it's actually two because I do want them to be um, the same the same papers for all three. So I ended up having to use two papers, I believe, or did yeah, because they're about two and two and three quarters by because uh, they are a little smaller than the pockets. The pocket should be three by six, but with the glue, by the time you're done gluing and everything, so two and three quarters by five and just under three quarters is what worked for those. So we need two pieces of paper for that. And let's use, let's use our trees. I think those would be pretty matte. So we're going to do that. Okay. So two and three quarters. So I can cut both of those. And save my scrap. Two and three quarters by five. I'm going to go by five and let's go with five and I don't know. Let's just, you have to just trim it to fit. I mean, it, they're, you know, the way your glue spreads, depending upon the glue that you use, may or may not. Yep, so it needs to come down a little bit more even. Okay. I'm going to cut both at the same time here. So if that was just under five and three quarters, so let's go here. See what happens. See if that will work. Okay. Cut my 
third tag. Two and three quarters. Okay, and then for those tags, oops, see, yeah, I forgot another supply, um, and you don't have to have it, but I like to round my corners, so round all my corners on those. This is cute. I love these papers. It's always fun to get out my, to get out like different holiday stuff. You know, it's like decorating your house, um, you know, to see, oh man, where did I get that? Oh, I forgot about that. That's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. This paper pack is just so cute. Okay. One, Maybe two, three. Okay. Okay, so there are those three. Then I did, um, One, two, three, four. So that's two more pieces of paper for the pockets and the belly bands. So those need to be the same. And that we're going to use. We can use snowman. Okay, save this card. Save this card. I don't remember if I need it or not, but regardless, we'll use it in our scrap bin. So these are, I have snowman and I have stripes. I think, but I do love the personality of the snowman. But I do kind of like the elegance of the stripe. Why does everything have to be so hard? It's hard to decide. I'll do the snowman. Okay. So then these cards are approximately five and three eighths by two and three fourths. Okay. So we need to cut these to two and three fourths. First, this is why I like to have a prototype made up so that I can be looking at it and taking my measurements and stuff from that. So this other one is two and three fourths here. Okay. And five and three eighths. And I did, I am cutting two sheets at a, I'm cutting both sheets at the same time. Just in the interest of trying to make this faster. Okay, and then I need to round the corners because I do like rounded corners on like journaling tags or um, 
photo mats, things like that. So I want my corners rounded. It just gives everything a more finished edge. All right. And then, oh, I forgot to ink. But that's okay. The first ones that I put in the pockets, which is fine. I can do that when I add my tabs. This just really finishes these edges super awesome. It just goes great with this paper. Love it. I love it, friends. This, this truly is a gift. I mean, this is a super cute gift to give. Um, but if you are a crafter who does vendor events, oh my gosh, I think these would sell like hotcakes. Um, and because of all the pockets and whatnot, I mean, you can easily tuck a gift card. You can tuck cash into the pockets to give as a gift um, without without even thinking about it. I mean, I think that is just so, such a fun little thing these are. Okay, so then these just tuck into our, or should. Tuck right into our little pockets here. And then they also tuck into our belly band. Oh my gosh, you guys, come on. How cute are these? These are like stinking adorable. I am love, love, loving these. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so then what we have left, when you look at them here, is we just have the pockets and our tabs. Okay, so the pockets now, um, you have the two back pockets. So the pocket here or the two, this pocket and this pocket are going to be the same. And oh, my ruler is clear and I keep losing it. Um, so that they are two and a half. Um, and so I'm going to, because I want to gusset my pockets. So I'm going to go and cut my paper three. I'm going to make squares, three by three. Okay, and we're going to use this stripe for our pockets. And we're going to just make four squares. That's what we're going to do, three by three. So you cut one piece of paper, three by three. Okay, now. For our two middle pockets, for these pockets here, I'm going to go and I want to score at a quarter on each side. So that's the bottom of my pocket. So I want to score at a quarter. And a quarter again on the other side. And then across the bottom, I'm going to score at a half. Okay. This probably would have been easier if I would have had a scoreboard, but you know, I didn't want to get it out and put it on my desk. Not going to lie. Oh, so I'm going to do my other one as well. Same thing. Okay. 
a quarter. Other side is a quarter. And the bottom is a half. Okay, so then um, I do like to miter those just to take the bulk away. And then I also like to do a quick miter at the top as well. So I'm going to do that on both. So I miter from the bottom to the side. Same thing. And then I miter the top pocket just a hair. Okay. Fold at your score lines. Okay. And remember that your bottom folds over your sides. That way they don't get stuck going into your pocket. Okay, so then we're going to ink. And we want to put our little divot in there. Same thing here, fold, fold, and fold. Ink. I know this is pretty exciting stuff, friends, but I hope you find this as cute and honestly as easy as I did. I just think they're awesome. And I was just playing with folds and playing with three by three papers when I came up with this. Um, so this, I'm sure somebody else has done it, but this is one that I was just looking at six by six paper pads and folding things and trying to put things together and it just came together. So, okay. Um, so here is our, here is ours. So then you just, you can put a little dot of glue down at the bottom just to hold those sides and bottom together. And then don't glue too close to the top edge because you don't want to get, glue your pocket shut and you want to definitely glue right at your sides. Okay. Okay, there's one. Here is our next one. Okay, so this one goes in the back here. Thank you. 
Okay, and then our two little sides. So that's the front, that's the back. And then our... I see what I did. Did you see what I did? I put those pockets on the wrong ones. But that's okay. That's why they're just a little big. I needed to have those on here. But it doesn't matter. It's all the same. It's no wonder I was challenged a bit. It's all right. It's all it's all fine, friends. Don't worry. Pockets are pockets are pockets. Okay. So same thing on all these pockets. Quarter. Um, side is a quarter. Side is a quarter. Bottom is a half. Okay, next one. Side is a quarter. Side is a quarter. Gosh, I'm struggling here. And bottom is that. Okay, miter my corners here. Same process, four pockets. Okay. I keep losing my folder. I keep putting it to the right of me here, and I keep burying it. I keep burying it with my scraps. All right. All right, ink, 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 ink. <sighs> this is just going to be so cute. It's just cute. Teacher gifts with a coffee gift card or something like that tucked in here. Notes from... The kids, notes from the parents, just so cute. Okay. Oh, glue. Got non-cooperative again. That next one. Okay. Then like that. Okay. Now, so then we just need to do our um, 
we need tags. We need four tags for our pockets. And we need three tabs for our centers. So with our tabs, Do, 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 do. do I want to do that? I think I'm going to use the stars for our tabs or the stars, the snowflakes. I apologize. I don't even know what I'm looking at. So I'm going to punch three of these. Okay. And those are going to be that. I'm going to cut this off even. And I can probably make tags no because that is that and I can make tags here so let's do two and a quarter inch Tags. Let's see if that'll fit in our pocket. Yes. So do this other one at two and a quarter. Okay. So I'm going to just cut these in a quick tag shape. And get my little hole punch like that. Ink these up. How am I doing? Oh gosh, I'm almost at an hour, guys. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. Oh. Got my little yarn here. Tie my little strings. This is real time, no fast forwarding, friends. No fast forwarding, real time. Real time, real time. No fast forwarding, no pausing. Okay, I shouldn't have looked at the time. Now I'm panicking and I'm all fumbling around and everything. Okay, and then, so that was two for the center. Then I need another paper to go here and here so not this and not the flakes and not stripes so if it can't be flakes it can't be stripes it's got to be this one okay and so these are going to be two and a quarter and two and a quarter And two 
and give them a tag shape. And the hole in the center. And ink them up. Okay. Tie them up, tie them up. This is just some, um, like, Christmas twine. I really honestly bought it for the stool, uh, the spool, but it, I got it at um, TJ Maxx last year after Christmas sale and all the, the spool and the twine and everything and I think I, I paid like four dollars so yeah loved this so check places like that TJ Maxx home goods um, in their stationery and their holiday after holiday sale yeah bargain okay there's another one and our last tag Here, you could use other ribbons, you could use whatever you want to tie your tags. Okay, now all we need to do is take out our cards. I forgot to ink them, so I have to ink them real quick. And put a tab. Do both sides of the tab with ink. And the first one you want to put your tab at the top so that it kind of has that index cardi file folder type look when you're looking at it. your card two. It's going to get its tab in the middle. Okay, so anywho, this little project is just a little cute project. I just, I, I love this. I love how it came together. And um, I just, I think that the versatility of this project is just huge. And whether it's for the holidays or whether it's all year long, I can see this as a traveling wallet and you could stash your cash in the various pockets, um, you know, your daily cash. It could just be a little traveling wallet um, for tickets and other things like that can go in here. Receipts. Okay, and then our back tag. So yeah, super fun. And I just think if you tucked, you know, if you put this, if you weren't somebody who like did Christmas gifts, so to speak, but like you exchanged cash or gift cards or something like that, this would be so fun to like hang on the Christmas tree with somebody's name on it. And then inside you could have in all the different pockets, you could tuck different denominations of cash. Like let's just say you do 
you know, your gifts are $50 or less or something. I mean, you could take and you could have $5 bills, you could have dollar bills. And by the time they're done going through all the pockets, um, there's all their cash. But it's kind of like a, just a fun interactive, interactive way to gift cash or a gift card. It's just kind of fun, kind of fun, kind of fun. Okay, so that tucks in there. And there we go. Okay, so we have our cover with the pop with the tag another tag in a pocket tag and pocket flip belly band with a journal card tag pocket pocket belly band with a tag flip pocket pocket and our last pocket and then to just tie this up as for gift giving I just took my twine and I wrapped it around and around came back through here give it just a little bit more and I'm wrapping in between my um, index tags so that it doesn't, you know, so that I don't bend my tags. Cut that off. And then with my little um, scraps here, I just created another tag. So um, let me cut it off straight. I would prefer to cut it off. Oh, hang on. I like to just use my scraps. I'm just using the scraps that are left over from the things that I cut off. Whoops, I did not cut that well at all. this tag, cut them into tag shapes, ink them, put them together here, cut our little circle out, So then you just then you thread your little right through here. And tie a little bow. And there is your gift for your bender event or your gift for a friend, however the case may be. So, friends, I hope you enjoyed that. You could continue to decorate these as much as you possibly wanted. Um, but I just think these turn out to be so stinking cute. So anyhow, friends, there is your next day of um, Christmas in July. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you'll try this project. I hope until the next video, you guys stay well, find time to craft, and that you're truly enjoying your July holidays. All right, friends, until next time, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.